Hello, so in today's video I'm going to be covering how we can use the on mouse enter, on mouse down, on mouse uh, exit functions that are available in the old input system, how we can get equivalent functionality in the new input system. So I've just got a simple scene set up here and you can see that we've got our mouse and as we go over a cube it'll say old input system on mouse enter uh, on cube 2 which is this cube and then it'll exit as we leave, it says old input system on mouse exit. And we can also do on mouse down, which um, just makes the cubes do a little jump and a spin. So yeah, that's kind of the functionality in the old input system. To show that we can get the exact same functionality in the new input system, I'm just going to swap over to the new input system, and then we can get the same functionality. So we hover over new input system on mouse enter called, on mouse exit, on mouse enter, on mouse exit. Uh, and again, we can do on mouse down, and make them jump and spin as well. So how do we actually go about doing that? So first, let me just show you how we do it in the old input system. So you can see here that we've got private void on mouse enter, private void on mouse exit, and private void on mouse down. And then on enter, we're just printing our message. On exit, we're doing the same. And then on mouse down, we're just doing some do tween um, jumps and spins. And the way this works is each of our cubes here, let me just um, close this down. So we've got our old input system where we have a cube here and you, uh, you can see that we've got a collider on it and you need a collider for this to work. So what's happening is as we bring our mouse over, we're detecting that we're over a collider and this collider has the, the on mouse functionality and then we can we can do, make it do our thing. So if we go back and look at the new input code, there's a few different things we're going to need to do to get this set up. So this is our on mouse new input system script and you can see that we're, your, and you can see that we're using um, three interfaces here. Uh, I point to enter handler, I point to exit handler, and I point to down handler. So now you can see that that's like a mouse enter, mouse exit, and mouse down, but it's um, an interface and it's I pointer. To access these interfaces, we need to be using the Unity Engine uh, event systems. And then if I just cut these out for now, once you um, add the event systems and then the interfaces, just like any interface, it'll make sure that your script is actually implementing these functions. So I can add uh, the on pointer enter function, etc. So just make sure you've got them. So on pointer enter is from this interface, etc. These take in a pointer event data, uh, just called event data. And then we could do our functionality just like we do in the old input system. Now with um, on pointer down, we can actually get some information based on, on the pointer, in this case, our mouse. So I can say that if the uh, event data button that was pressed is equal to the left input button, then we can print that the left button was pressed. If we press any other button, it'll just say another button was pressed. But that's not all you need to get this working. So you need to make sure that over in Unity, first thing you need is on your camera, you need to make sure that you add a physics ray caster. If you just drop that on there and make sure that whatever you want to interact with is on one of the layers, just as you normally would when you're doing a ray cast. So for example, these cubes are on the default layer and that's picked up by the physics ray caster, so that's fine. And you also need an event system. When you make the event system and you're using the new input system, it'll come up with an error um, and it'll just have a button to fix the error. So like an automatic fix, just click that. You've got the event system, you've got the physics ray caster on the um, camera and then it works just as normal. So we hit play, go to the new input system. So you can see the uh, new input system on mouse enter, on mouse exit. If I right click, it'll do the functionality. But if I left click, it'll say, it'll do the functionality and say left button was pressed. And that's because that we've checked whether the button that we put down was the left button. So that was just a quick video to show how you can get the new input system set up um, and using those mouse events as you'd be used to in the old input system. I hope this video was useful. If you want to get the project files for this video, they are uh, on my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. If this video was useful, it'd be great if you could hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, okay now.